Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. We begin our celebration in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant us, we pray, O Lord our God, the constant gladness of being devoted to you, for it is full and lasting happiness to serve with constancy the author of all that is good. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Revelation. I, John, had a vision of an open door to heaven, and I heard the trumpet-like voice that had spoken to me before, saying, Come up here, and I will show you what must have happened afterwards. At once I was caught up in spirit. A throne was there in heaven, and on the throne sat one whose appearance is sparkled like jasper and carnelian. Around the throne was a halo as brilliant as an emerald. Surrounding the throne, 
I saw 24 other thrones on which 24 elders sat, dressed in white garments and with gold crowns on their heads. From the throne came flashes of lightning, rumblings and peals of thunder. Seven flaming torches burned in front of the throne, which are the seven spirits of God. In front of the throne was something that resembled a sea of glass like crystal. In the center and around the throne, there were four living creatures covered with eyes in front and in back. The first creature resembled a lion. The second was like a calf. The third had a face like that of a man and the fourth looked like an eagle in flight. The four living creatures, each of them with six wings, were covered with eyes inside and out. Day and night, they, they do not stop exclaiming, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty, who was and who is and who is to come. Whenever the living creatures give glory and honor and thanks to the one who sits on the throne, who lives forever and ever, the 24 elders fall down before the one who sits on the throne and worship him who lives forever and ever. They throw down their crowns before the throne, exclaiming, Worthy are you, Lord our God, to receive glory and honor and power, for you created all things because of your will. They, come, they came to be and were created. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Holy, holy, holy Lord, mighty God. Holy, holy, holy Lord, mighty God. Praise the Lord in his sanctuary. Praise him in the firmament of his strength. Praise him for his mighty deeds. Praise him for his sovereign majesty. Holy, holy, holy Lord, mighty God. Praise him with the blast of the trumpet. Praise him with lyre and harp. Praise him with timbrel and dance. Praise him with strings and pipe. Holy, holy, holy Lord, mighty God. Praise him with sounding cymbals. Praise him with clanging cymbals. Let everything that has breast praise the Lord. Alleluia. Holy, holy, holy Lord, mighty God. Please stand. I chose you from the world to go and bear fruit that will last, says the Lord. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. While people were listening to Jesus speak, he proceeded to tell a parable because he was near Jerusalem and they thought that the kingdom of God would appear there immediately. So he said, a nobleman went off to a distant country to obtain the kingship for himself and then to return. He called ten of his servants and gave them ten gold coins and told them, Engage in trade 
with these until I return. His fellow citizens, however, despised him and sent a delegation after him to announce, We do not want this man to be our king. But when he returned after obtaining the kingship, he had the servants called to whom he had given the money to learn what they had gained by trading. The first came forward and said, Sir, your gold coin has earned ten additional ones. He replied, Well done, good servant. You have been faithful in this very small matter. Take charge of ten cities. Then the second came and reported, Your gold coin, sir, has earned you five more. And to this the servant, he said, You take charge of five cities. Then the other servant came and said, Sir, here is your gold coin. I kept it in stored away in a handkerchief, for I was afraid of you, because you are a demanding man. You take up what you did not lay down, and you harvest what you did not plant. He said to him, With your own words I shall condemn you, you wicked servant. You knew I was a demanding man, taking up what I did not lay down, and harvesting what I did not plant. Why did you not put my money in a bank? Then on my return, I would have collected it with interests. And to those standing, he said, Take the gold coin from him and give it to the servant, who has ten. But they said to him, Sir, he has ten golds already. He replied, I tell you, to everyone who has, more will be given. But from the one who has not, even what he has will be taken away. Now, as for those enemies of mine who did not want me as their king, bring them here and slay them before me. After he had said this, he proceeded on his journey up to Jerusalem. May dear brothers and sisters, the good news of our salvation. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang umaga po sa ating lahat. I like the very talents of kindergarten teachers. Sinong may mga kindergarten teachers dito? Napakagaling nilang mag, makipag-usap sa mga bata no? kung saan parang bumababa talaga sila sa level ng understanding ng kanilang tinuturuan. No? At this point, no, um, may isa akong naalalang incident no? kung saan as a reward sa mga activities sa school no? in kindergartens. No? ba diba pagkatapos nilang gumawa ng activity, and if they are very good, anong ginagawa ng teacher? Binibigyan ng star, di ba? No? Star, star, star. No? Nagpaparamihan sila ng star. No? At nakakatuwa dahil mas na i-encourage yung bata no? na makipag-engage, no? gumawa ng kung ano-ano activity na makakapag-develop. No? At this one time, no? I know of a kid no? na Sobrang galing niya at bibo doon sa kanilang klase. Pero it turns out, ang teacher, naubusan ng star. Naubusan ng star. Iyak siya ng iyak. No? Kasi daw, no, yung kanyang activity na 100 naman, no, deserves a star. So sabi ng teacher, sige, akin na yung kamay mo. No? At yung teacher, nagdrawing ng star sa kanyang palad. Nang uwi siya sa bahay, pinakita niya ito sa kanyang parents, no? At akala siya yung nagdrawing, no? O kaya yung mga kaklase, no? No, no. Ito po ang aking reward, no? Ang star. Ibibigay ko po tayo sa inyo dahil hindi ito na bawala, no? Ang mga kindergartens, pag uwi, ipapakita kay mama at kay papa ang star. I-offer no, sa inyo ito. I've been good. 
in this last few days bago tayo mag-Christ the King, ang ating tema ng mga pagbasa ngayon ay end of days. No? Exacting. No? Naniningil ang Diyos. No? Kung ano nga ba talaga ang meaning pag dumating ang kaharian. No? Ang pagahari ng langit. No? Ang pagahari ng Diyos. No? Kaya nga, this coming Sunday, Fiesta ng Christ the King. People during the olden times, during the time of Jesus, thought that the kingdom of God would just simply appear as what we have heard in the gospel. No? Akali nila para ng itong susulpot, no? andun ang kaharian ng Diyos. Nandito ang kaharian ng Diyos. Pero ang sabi ni Jesus, the kingdom of God is among you. No? And it is what you will do with what has been given to you. Kaya pinarinig uli sa atin ni Jesus ang isang kwento, ang isang parabol patungkol sa isang hari na nag-entrust ng kanyang kayamanan sa kanyang mga servants. No? Equally, binigan sila ng sampu, sampu, sampu. No? Sa ibang gospel reading, no? according to one's capacity. At kapag binigyan ka, no, pinahiram ka, darating ang araw na i-exact ito, i-account mo ito sa Diyos. No? Yun ang pagdating ng kaharian. No? But the thing is, ang naging problema sa ating Ibanghelyo ngayon ay, yung isa, hindi niya na-acknowledge na pinagkatiwalaan siya hindi niya inaklalish na buo pala ang loob ng kanyang amo na mabigyan din siya ng share para pagyabungin, no? para pagbungahin ang pinagkatiwala sa kanya. No? So, ano nangyari? Nung nagkaroon na ng accounting, wala. No? Kulelat. No? Kaya nagalit ang hari. Ano bang pwedeng matutunan natin no? sa pag-i-interpret no? o pag-iintindi natin sa kapagahari ng Diyos? First is that we have to acknowledge the gifts na initrust sa atin. Eh, Father, sila nung naman meron eh. No! Lahat tayo meron. Eh, Father, pulo bilang naman ako eh. No! Meron yan. Hanapin mo. Equally binigyan ng hari ang kanyang servant ng tig sa sampu-sampu. At tayo meron din. Iba't ibang talento. Anong tanong? Alam niyo na ba kung ano ang inyo? Kung hindi pa, yan ngayon ang ipagdasal din nyo. Ang malaman, ang binigay na regalo sa inyo ng Diyos. Pangalawa, darating at darating ang araw na hihingan tayo ng accounting. No? At actually, pag hihingan tayo ng accounting, hindi naman yan kukuni ng Diyos. Ang gagawin lang natin ay multiply ito at isi-share din sa iba. Ito yung sinabi sa ating verse before the gospel. I choose you from the world to go forth to bear fruit that will last. Ano ibig sabihin ng it will last? It will last because it will just multiply and multiply. Sa tingin nyo ba kukunin talaga na ng Diyos? Hindi na. Para yan sa mga susunod. Para yan masabi na Naghari na talaga ang Diyos. May problema kasi sa atin, nung pinahiram, yumabunga, pero ayaw namang ishare. Akin ito eh. Deserve ko ito eh. No? Naging public official, for example. No? Deserve ko ito eh. No? Bibigyan lang kita ng mumu. 
Minsan, naging taong simbahan. No? Deserve ko to eh. The office. No? Pero nakalimutan na ginagamit lang tayo lahat ng Diyos para gawing posible ang kanyang pag-ahari dito sa mundo. No? Kagaya ng mga kindergarten, no? inintrust, uh, pinagkatiwalaan tayo ng mga mabubuting bagay. At darating ang araw na pag tinanong, kamusta? No? Ito po ang aking mga nagawang mabuti. Good. Very good. No? Hindi ko yan kukunin sa'yo. Pero, paramihin at paramihin mo pa. At kung aware tayo sa ganitong sistema ng pag ay dumating na ang pag ng Diyos sa buhay ninyo. Naririto na ang kaharian ng Diyos. Sana lang aware tayo sa ating magiging role, sa ating magiging contribution, no? sa ating cooperation kung paano ito mapangyayari. Sa bisang ito, yun sana ang ating ipagdasal. Ang maghari ang Diyos sa ating mga gawa kapag natuto tayong ma-recognize ang ating gifts, pagyabungin ito, we pay it forward. And when it does, it simply multiplies. Amen. Please stand. Gathered together as sons and daughters of God the Father, who is the giver of all good things, we reverently make our prayer. Father of goodness, bless us. Father of goodness, bless us that the church may not be afraid of the challenge of renewal and may the many different gifts entrusted to her be put to fruitful use, let us pray to the Lord. Father of goodness, bless us. That all people may share in the earth's resources in justice, unity, and peace, let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father of goodness, goodness bless, bless us that we may have a deeper appreciation of the importance of our ordinary lives and that we may realize how the love of God can flow from our little acts of kindness. Let us pray to the Lord. Father of goodness, bless us. That doctors, nurses, and those in the caring profession may use their gifts to bring Christ's love and compassion to the poor the lonely, the sick, and the imprisoned. Let us pray to the Lord. Father of goodness, bless us. That the blessed dead may join the Master's eternal happiness. Let us pray to the Lord. Father of goodness, bless us. In the silence of our hearts, let us pray for our personal intention. And let us also remember those people whom we have promised to pray for. Heavenly Father, help us to remain faithful in the small things of life so that we may be trusted with greater things when we come into your kingdom. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated.
please stand. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His Holy Church. Grant, O Lord, we pray, that what we offer in the sight of your majesty may obtain for us the grace of being devoted to you and gain us the prize of everlasting happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift, since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so in company with choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving you thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and the resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, 
and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, has said here, Apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, I am not worthy that, that you should enter under my roof, but, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
please stand. Let us pray. We have partaken of the gifts of this sacred mystery, humbly imploring, O Lord, that what your Son commanded us to do in memory of him may bring us growth in charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. We invite you to our weekly Healing Rosary for the World tonight at 9 o'clock on our Facebook page. Our host for this evening is the parish community of San Guillermo in Bacolor, Pampanga. And we will pray the Holy Rosary in front of the venerated image of La Naval de Bacolor. So once again, we invite you to gather as a community and as a family. And together, let us implore the maternal intercession and the maternal help of the Blessed Virgin Mary. I also wish to take this opportunity to thank Father Jumbim for all the services and help that he has generously extended to the Manila Cathedral. Father Jumbim will be leaving tonight for Australia where he is sent for mission. Inunahan mo pa ako, Father Jumbim. Kaya sa ngalan po ng komunidad ng Manila Cathedral, ng ating mga mass goers, ng ating servants at staff, sa ngalan din ng ating online community at sa maraming na-interview po ninyo at inyong naikasal dito sa Manila Cathedral, maraming maraming salamat and we assure you of our prayers for your mission. Alam po namin na excited kayo at uh, kinakabahan din dahil sa misyong ito na inyong haharapin simula mamayang gabi at bukas. Asahan po ninyong aming panalangin at nawa isang araw magkasama-sama ulit tayo dito sa Manila Cathedral. Maraming maraming salamat, Father Jumbin. Let us give them a warm round of applause. Please stand. Allow me rin po to thank the community of Manila Cathedral for the past, I think, six years. No? I started um, saying Mass here around 2015-16 when I was on my third year as a priest no? because Cathedral is only two blocks away from, from San Agustin. And ang mission ng pag preside para maging tulay ng panalangin ninyo sa Diyos ay para pang mas tumingkad pa nung pandemya kung saan kahit ako nun ay adamant na magmisa dahil walang laman ng katedral no? pero nagbimisa kami hindi ko ma-imagine na mas dumoble, trumiple nag 10,000 folds pa pala ang aming naaabot sa aming pangunguna sa pagdadasal Patuloy ho nating um, ipagdasal ang bawat isa no, sa aming magiging mission. No? You may forget about us. No? But remember no, what we have told you about Jesus. Kalimutan nyo na kami. No? Pero ang mga sinabi namin patungkol kay Jesus, yun sana ang dalhin ninyo at ikalat din ninyo sa buong mundo. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks be to God. Amen.